All right, so in the last video series or series of lessons, we were looking at um, having a circle bounce around the screen or a smiley face or some iteration of those things. Um, but what if we wanted multiple circles? What if we wanted two circles? What if we wanted 200 circles? What if we wanted 2,000 circles to bounce around? And it's different than when we just wrote a bunch of circles to the screen, you know, we like flooded it with a target or whatever. Because in that case, we're just not rewriting the background. But what if we wanted to individually animate these different things um, efficiently? Well, we could create multiple variables to handle each uh, sort, uh, each circle. So we'll start with the program that we um, created that executed just a single circle bouncing around. And so if we run this program, um, you'll see that um, our circle just kind of bounces off the top and bottom of the screen. Well, what if we wanted two circles? One way to do it is to simply add multiple variables for um, the speed. So let's add that's uh, this one is going to be circle one. And here we'll initiate some variables for circle two. Uh, sorry, let's just start that at a different spot. Boat circle speed <clears throat> one equals two. And this is going to be changed, so we'll have to rename this to keep track of everything. Uh, lib circle i zero, circle. One zero. See, this is already getting really annoying, and it's meant to be annoying in the video. And I would like you to actually code along with it to understand why this is so annoying. Um, okay, so we've handled the circle zero stuff, but now we need to do all of this again for um, the circle one variables. And so ellipse at circle one. One, we'll change this to like uh, 75 so it's off on the side a little bit. And circle one speed, circle one if y one zero one blah blah blah. It's super annoying already. Just for two circles, it's annoying. And I might have made some mistakes in there because it was going kind of fast because it was so annoying. But let's just run this and see though. So we have um, two balls now bouncing around the screen. Okay, that's cool, but what if we wanted 200? Uh, there's no way I would be willing to do this for 200. And programmers thought to themselves, okay, well, there must be a better way. Um, and so we're going to talk about uh, an, an array. So rather than uh, creating all these different variables with different names that you have to kind of keep track of, we can notice here that like the only thing that's really changing is the like, the kind of number, the you know which one we're referencing. So uh, people who wrote these programming languages came up with a better way to do this, and that um, is called an array. Uh, an array is just like a list, basically, but um, it's of fixed size. And so to make an array, you just type the name, the you put in the type of array you want, so what sort of stuff you want to be held in that list. So we want an array of float values. And we add the bracket, so uh, open bracket and close bracket, not a brace. And we'll just say that this array is going to be containing all of the different values of our circle y um, coordinate. And we're just going to say that uh, the two values here that we want in there are 10 and 20 to start out. So each circle will have a starting position just slightly different. So one will be at 10 pixels down and the other will be at 20 pixels down in the y direction. Then um, to access each value in the array, it's very easy. The first one starts at what we call index 0. It always is index 0 here. And then this is index one and so if we want to draw a circle at the first position in the array 
we can just say, well, we want it to be at 25 pixels in in the x direction. We want it to be at location circle y in, uh, index 0, whatever is contained there, and we would like it to be 10 pixels wide and 10 pixels tall. Now, again, this value refers to which position in the array we're talking about. So if we run this now, you'll see a circle pop up at uh, 10 pixels down. Well, what if we change this to 50 so it's a little bit easier to see? Um, and we said we want it to be at circle Y at uh, instead of, so if we run it again at index 0, the value contained at index 0 is this 10. Whereas if we ran it with index 1, which is this index, the number contained at that spot in our list, it comes up and look, it's down below. It's down at uh, 50 pixels down instead. So this is how you create and access uh, information in arrays. And I think that's plenty for this first video.